can get one, you know, for a few hundred bucks, a thousand bucks or less. It's obviously cheaper than a car, but if you don't have the money to go ahead and get a car, that could be a good option. What's going on, guys? It's Jacob Orth here with another video of Jacob's Life in Vegas to answer another question I get from some people about living here in Las Vegas, and I will get to it in just a moment. But before I do, thank you to all of you that have subscribed to this channel. Please subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Like this video, throw in a comment, tell me what you think about it, especially if you live out here in Vegas right now. Be sure to go to my website, jacobslifeinvegas.com. You can sign up on my email list to get more videos in the future. And also be sure to follow me on Twitter at Jacob's Vegas Life. This is one some people ask me about moving out here to Vegas and living out here without a car, okay? Because Vegas has a reputation where the public transportation system isn't that great, especially since we had so much urban sprawl and so much growth take place over the last decade or so out here. Vegas has grown a lot out here. And for being, and it's very spread out, okay? So the public transportation system out here isn't like you would get in a bigger, you know, more congested type city. Um, depending on where you live, of course, you know, your options may be a little bit better than other places. But one thing if you're living out here without a car that I had no idea about this really as an option until I moved out here and it's uh, fairly popular that people do this out here in Vegas and it's actually uh, to drive a scooter. <laughs> Um, to get a scooter, all right? I see those a lot out here, and I had no idea scooters were so uh, common out here that people ride those things, but I see people do them, riding them all the time. You can't take them on the freeway, but Vegas is pretty much a grid in terms of how the roads are set up out here. So they people ride them on the uh, a lot of the roads, like Jones or Decatur and that kind of thing. If they need to uh, get up to a certain place, even get over to the Strip, they'll go up to Spring Mountain or wherever they need to, and they can cut over from there. So I'll put a link in the description below to show you guys like the type of scooter I'm talking about. But the scooter is a very viable option for a lot of people out here where you can get one, you know, for a few hundred bucks, a thousand bucks or less. It's obviously cheaper than a car, but if you don't have the money to go ahead and get a car. That could be a good option. As far as registering it, wearing a helmet, that kind of thing, all the laws are a little different because it's going to depend on how many cc's. Um, the scooter is or how fast it can go so if you're gonna be out here without a car maybe you do have to take the bus for a while to get a bicycle but if you don't get enough money for a car just yet you could actually go ahead and just get a scooter and that'll give you more freedom when it comes to your traveling out here instead of just having to rely on the bus and you can use that to get around until you're able to afford a car so just think of that option for you guys getting a scooter while you're living out here could be a good option for you if you're not able to afford a car and you still need a reliable way to get around that's going to be it for this video. I am Jacob, and this is My Life in Vegas.